Hi, I'm Nora, and welcome to Ampolo. Recently, Gabrielle Lyon joined us in the studio to talk about Project Exploration, which is dedicated to making science accessible to the public. This organization is full of great ideas. Project Exploration is a science education nonprofit, and we're literally trying to change the face of science. Most of the way science works, at least in the United States, and, and really for most of the world, science works the way it worked in 1957 when Sputnik appeared. It's a science that um, cultivates folks that are performing in the top 10% in school. It's a science that kind of takes its researchers and squirrels them away into the ivory tower behind the walls in museums. Or it's, it's a science that's really a kind of behind the scenes tour experience for a very exclusive part of the population. Project Exploration is talking about science on the other end of the spectrum for um, those students least likely to get involved with science. The, the person who likes to watch the Discovery Channel but maybe never gets an opportunity to be involved with science, that's what Project Exploration is trying to do, literally make science public. A lot of people want to know, so okay, you get minority youth and girls involved in science, but what do they actually do? And we have three entry-level programs, three different doors that students can come in, and once they're in, they're in, and we work with them through high school and into college. One of the doors is our junior paleontologist program. We select a dozen um, middle and high school students from around the city of Chicago every spring and they get immersed into the world of paleontology. They spend two weeks here in Chicago studying geology, paleontology, taking field trips, doing research projects. Um, one of their big team projects is they build a 40 foot long um, timeline of the history of life on earth. There's all kinds of really fun, amazing, interdisciplinary projects. And it's all to get them ready to go and spend a week in the field doing paleontology. All of our students come to us as curious, open-minded students, usually not academically successful, mostly the first person in their family to go to college. And by the time they leave, almost all of them are graduating high school. More than half of them are going to four-year institutions, more than Three quarters of them are going to two or four year colleges. But I think the thing that's most remarkable to me is that um, our students get in the driver's seat by the end of the program. They, they decide there's something that they want to do. And it may not be science, but it's something. And that's something that will change not just their lives, but their families' lives.